Welcome back, everyone. My name's Wade, and this is another Wade's Blind Guesses. Let's go. All right, guys, so if you don't know the premise of this series, it's pretty much me picking a random sample and then using the Matt Madness rules um, to try to figure out blindly what it is. And then, you know, I'll put the information up to see how close I ended up being, right? So, uh, Matt Madness, he usually looks at like maybe age, uh, main grain, state of distillation, um, finished or not, and then, you know, variety of other things, but I'm gonna use proof on this one. So, I've got this box of samples that everybody's been awesome enough to give me. Very, very appreciative of that. So I just grabbed a random one, cover it up, pour it up, and let's see how close we get. That's a big sample, so I'm not, oh, I'm only going to need that one. But I'm going to put it down here so I can recall it later. All right. And I'm drinking this amazing little glass from Whiskey Thief. And if you guys haven't, you know, went to Whiskey Thief, it's just outside of, we went to Buffalo Trace and it's kind of on the way back to Louisville, uh, kind of in between those two places. And so it's a nice place uh, to stop and enjoy. So here we go, cheers. It's a cute little glass, uncut, unfiltered experience. It definitely is uncut and unfiltered. And this is my bottle that I got a thief right out of a barrel. It's a really cool experience. I would recommend anybody doing it. All right. Now, let's see what we get off the nose. Hmm. Bourbon-y to me. Hmm. Sweet, sweet corn. Caramel, of course. Spicy, smells proofy. Now, this is my first of the day. I'm gonna shoot a few of these, so by the end, I'll probably be kind of sloppy, which will be interesting and fun if, it, if I get better or not. Hmm, cinnamon. Interesting. That doesn't give me a whole lead. It could be a rye. I know it's, I'm trying to figure out if it's finished off the nose. If I catch something off the nose, and I don't know what would be real prevalent. Like a lot of the ports and other things that have been finished or like Amberana and things like that, you definitely know when you're smelling it. It's not, not that strong. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna guess bourbon off the bat, but let's see what the palate says. Cheers. Okay. Hot. Holy cow. Um, as in proof, it's proofy. Definitely has some fairly aggressive um, flavors on the palate. Leather. It definitely has some good qualities to it, but I would say that it's pretty, it reminds me of something that was put in a hot climate. I would guess this would be maybe a Georgia, Texas, or Nevada um, type of product. It's just really seem like, it wouldn't surprise me if this was like a smoke wagon. Um, it's got kind of that, you know that, kind of a tannic oak, not like overly bitter, but like you know it's been driven into the oak and it's been hot. Could be a small barrel as well. It could be kind of a crafty one, but it seems proofy. So that's gonna mean that it's gonna be like a, you know, a, Buffalo Trace or something like that. Seems kind of grain forward. Really grain forward. A little spicy, some heat. That is definitely a corn whiskey. I'm gonna go with bourbon there. I'm not gonna go with just a corn whiskey. Uh, I'm gonna say that that's a Texas whiskey, Texas bourbon. Mmm. And the plot thickens. Gosh, I'm going to be way off. Yeah. Corn, bourbon, I'm going to say two years, two to four years. Mmm. So I know that I get a range there. So I'm going to say Tastes young to me. Um, 
in the heat. Da, 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 da. I said two. I'm going to go four. Let's do four. Four years. Um, proof. Hmm. We're going to say 115. I'm going to say 115. It's burning my throat. Um, I can definitely tell that proof, but that is my first of the day, so that could be could be 100 proof. I don't know. Yeah. Do I like it? It's not my flavor. Um, it definitely reminds me of some of those other really hot extracted whiskeys that I've had in the past. And so we're going to find out what this is, but my guesses are it's a bourbon, it, which means it's corn, uh, Texas, it's not finished. I think proof's about 115. Yeah. Well, let's see. Grand reveal. Where is it at? And oh, I'm going to have to look at Kings County Distiller. Distillery. 128. Okay. Way off on proof. I underestimated because it was the first sip of the day. I don't know much about Kings County Distiller. Uh, bourbon whiskey. I think it's this is Silback's pick, which is probably a higher age. No, that's uh, Silback. Um, what I guess, four years? It's, it tastes young. And I don't know where Kings County Distiller is, so I'll have to put all that information up. And hopefully I have the right information to get this one right. Anyway, if you guys like this stuff and uh, enjoy this, leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not. Smash that like. That really helps me um, with the algorithm with the YouTube. And uh, yeah, with that said, we just appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, let's drink some friends whiskey, huh? Cheers.